Hey everyone, Nadine here again today, and today I'm going to be creating a project using Xyron and Lawn Fawn. They partnered up for this month, and these are what I was sent from Lawn Fawn. I got some samples of their polka dot papers. You can see it has larger dots on one side and smaller dots on the other side. Super cute paper. And then they wrapped it up in cute little twine. It's a little hello stamp they sent. And then this is, let me get this off of here. This is our Friendship Grows stamp set. It says our friendship grows brighter each day. Thank you. Hi. Feel better. And then also the matching die set that goes with it. So I'm going to be creating a card with these and also using some of those iron adhesives. So to start, let's see these stamps out. Okay. Get my Misty. And this is some watercolor paper that I'm going to be using. Everything that I'm going to stamp with some black ink I'm going to put on here right now. I'm going to use some VersaFine Clear and Nocturne to stamp them. And because this watercolor paper is, um, and it, it's kind of a texture, I'm going to probably stamp it twice just to make sure I get a good solid image or good crisp stamp on this textured paper. Actually, it came out pretty good for the most part. Okay, now I am going to clear emboss them because I am going to color these with some watercolor. Okay, so to color them in, I'm going to be using my Arteza, Arteza, I'm not really sure how to say that, the real brush pens. out and also going to be using my Arteza water brush this is the it's a fine tip end that I'm going to be using so to start I'm going to be going to take my lightest color that I'm going to use which is going to be the yellow and Taking the water brush and just blend some of that up, and then just blend the color out towards the tips of the petals. And then I'm just going to take the next color, just, just a little bit darker, which is, has a little bit more brown in it. And just add it at the very end, the very, the darkest shading area. And then I'm going to go and use the water brush and blend that out as well. I'm going to repeat that on the other flower as well. 
I'm not going to color in the center of this one because I'm actually going to layer the flowers on top of one another and then I'm going to do the leaves and the vase and then I'll be right back to show you the rest. Okay, now that I have it all colored in, I'm actually going to re-stamp the stem. I did it in black, but I'm not sure why I did that in black because I want a green stem. So I'm going to re-stamp it. And I'm going to use the VersaFine Claire. This is Green Oasis. I'm going to stamp it one more time, even though that looks pretty good. But just want to make sure that on this textured watercolor paper that I get a good stamp image. There we go. Stamp the little heart that comes in this set, too. Actually, before I do that, let me emboss the stem really quick. Heat emboss the stem with some clear. If I can find what I did with my clear. There it is. There we go. Now I'm going to do the little heart before I, I cut these out. And then I am going to stamp the heart in this is Charming Pink in the Versafine Clear. And then I'm also going to heat set or emboss the, the heart. Okay, so all of these little die cuts that I have out, I am going to run through my Creative Station light so I can get some get some adhesive on it. Let's see. I don't have my adhesive in there yet. I'm going to use the three inch permanent adhesive roll. Okay, so I'm just going to slide this right in there. Just like that. So you can see that it's in there. And shut it down. And then just place, placing my things in there actually. Let me pull this out on this side first. So you can see it coming out from that side. There you go. And then I'm just going to push this bar down and then slide that right across and cut it off. And this flower I left out because I am going to use some pop dots to raise that one up. And we'll press this down. Make sure the adhesive's good on each one of them. Okay, using my Xyron Mega Runner, I'm just going to adhere this onto the bottom of my card base. But in an angle. Maybe a little bit higher than that. And then I'm just going to cut it off. But first, let me get the flower on there so I can decide exactly where I'm going to stamp my sentiment on there. If I can peel this apart. figure out exactly where I want my thank you. I'm going to stamp that with the first Fine Claire Nocturne. And then I'm going to emboss that with clear again. so much for watching. Please hit the like bu button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.